This morning, two surviving Americans back on U.S. soil. Four days after a nightmare on the streets of Matamoros, Mexico. The bodies of two other U.S. citizens killed in the same incident were also recovered. A terrifying kidnapping where video showed gunmen dragging the victims to a pickup after unleashing a deadly barrage of bullets on a van with four U.S. citizens inside. Their whereabouts unknown publicly till Tuesday, when officials found them at this small wooden house in a village about 15 miles away. Mexican authorities say they were taken to various places to create confusion and to interrupt the rescue work. The survivors identified by family as Latavia Washington McGee, seen here in an ambulance after being rescued. And Eric James Williams, whose older brother described him as fun-loving, but tough. You didn't know where your little brother was. That was very hard. I, you, all, you just want answers. So it was a lot of anxiety. The family sharing Eric suffered a gunshot wound to his leg, but he's now recovering in a hospital. Williams was joined by McGee, her cousin Shaid Woodard, and friend Zindel Brown on the days-long trip from their homes in South Carolina to Mexico. All of them have known each other all, all their lives. They're childhood friends. A law enforcement official telling NBC News the trip was for a cosmetic medical procedure, and they were likely attacked for being mistakenly identified as Haitian smugglers encroaching on the cartel's turf. Mexican officials are investigating, but say their leading theory is that was a result of confusion. On Tuesday, the governor of Tamaulipas said one person who was guarding the victims was arrested. In Washington, the two lives lost, a grim reminder of likely cartel violence. The DEA and the FBI are doing everything possible to dismantle and disrupt and ultimately prosecute the, the leaders of the cartels.